President Biden says the Texas anti-abortion law is un-American. The law, which took effect Wednesday, prevents women from getting abortions after six weeks of gestation. That's before many even know they're pregnant. The president says he has asked the Justice Department to look into the law. I have been, continue to be, a strong supporter of Roe v. Wade. Number one, and uh, the most pernicious thing about the Texas law, it sort of creates a vigilante system. I was told that there are possibilities within the existing law to have the Justice Department look and see whether are there things that can be done that can limit the independent action of individuals in enforcing a federal system, a, a, a state law. The president of Florida State Senate says state legislators will introduce a similar bill to Texas's controversial new abortion law. It bans most abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy. Texas abortion providers estimate about 85% of patients seeking abortions are already past that mark when they come in. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell has more on what state lawmakers are now are now saying about this. Ann? Well, yesterday, Governor DeSantis says he supports pro-life legislation and he wants to take a significant look at this law in Texas after it wasn't banned by the U.S. Supreme Court. Meanwhile, a Democratic representative out of Orange County says she's horrified by this law and she's encouraging people to stand up against it. Duval County Republican Representative Cord Byrd says it got his attention when the Supreme Court didn't intervene in Texas's new abortion law. Did it go through your mind that's something we could bring to Florida? Um, certainly. I mean, you know, the, the Speaker has, uh, the House has made a statement. The governor has come out and said he's interested in it. And certainly the, uh, the Senate president uh, has have all three said that it's something that they were are going to look at and consider. On the other side of the aisle, Representative Anna Escamani says she finds the Texas law horrifying. This is the most extreme abortion ban in the country, not only banning abortion at six weeks when most folks do not even know they are pregnant, uh, but it goes as far to establish a bounty, a $10,000 bounty on the heads of those who help someone access an abortion after six weeks. The state Senate president, Wilton Simpson, told WFLA he does not support the Texas law's $10,000 incentive for citizens to sue those suspected of helping a woman get an abortion. I want to sit down with the Texas law and really, really give it some thought before I would say that that's what we should do here. Eskamani knows how she feels about that provision. It's disgusting. Six-week abortion bans have previously failed in Florida. Byrd says they typically have a hard time getting through the state Senate. But now he's encouraged by the Senate president's willingness to consider such a law. I would suspect, and once again, don't speak for the, the Senate president, that he wouldn't came out, come out and make such a bold statement unless he thought he had the, uh, the support. Eskamani says she believes it's time for more legal protections for a woman's right to choose. This is an opportunity for us to go beyond Roe versus Wade and to pick a side of where you stand on an issue that has also always been dubbed as a political one, but at the end of the day is about basic human rights. Representative Byrd tells me this issue is important to him because of his faith. Meanwhile, Representative Escamani says this law would disproportionately harm certain vulnerable communities, communities of color, rural communities, the poor, those who might not have the ability to travel elsewhere to get an abortion. Live from Jacksonville, Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.